You know what's coming, you're getting smashed to pieces, sausage. His bollocks have shriveled up now, do you have? Little sausage! I don't... Look at him, his heart's pounding now! He's like a little puss! Tyson Fury and Francis's highly anticipated rematch has been the talk of the town. Yeah, their first meetup in the ring really left fans wanting more. And while Francis was out there giving out potential dates for the big fight, the Gypsy King is here to burst everyone's bubble. He was never really in for a rematch, and he's making it clear now. Oh, Francis. Guess you'll have to find another opponent now, because Fury is going off. He's mad to say the least. So without further ado, let's dive deep into Tyson Fury confronting Francis for announcing fake rematch dates. Get this. No one wanted this rematch as badly as Francis, and he was giving fans hope, announcing dates for the big bout and all. But the Cameroonian missed out on an important detail. Tyson Fury never agreed to a rematch, and it was not on the contract. Say what now? All these dreams to see the best heavyweight step into the ring again are going up in the air. Hear me out. Fury just recently went on record to slam Francis for giving the boxing world false hope by announcing fake details. It doesn't end here. He further added that there was a conversation about a potential rematch, but because of the Gypsy King's other plans for the upcoming months, nothing was ever confirmed. This isn't the first time there has been a fallout between the two fighters over the rematch. Oh yeah, remember when Francis announced there was a rematch clause on the contract pre-fight, and Fury revealed that his opponent was straight up lying. The Gypsy King has always put his opinion of being against rematches out there, so this really shouldn't come as a shocker to the boxing world. He contradicted Francis earlier this year by saying he never signs contracts with rematch clauses, because he believes the rematch takes away from the fight, and everyone only cares about the second meeting in the ring. He said, I hate rematches. Rematch clauses have tied my career up for so long and cost me a lot of millions of dollars in court cases. The Gypsy King added, I hate when champions do the clause. I know why it is because it's a double payday, but they go into the fight and it's already announced there's a rematch clause. It takes all the emphasis off the first fight. Nobody cares about the first fight. It doesn't mean shit. Because if there's a rematch clause anyway, then let's see who wins the second one because that's the one that really counts. Fury believes in massive fights without the need for a second fight. But that's surely not what Francis believes. I mean, can you really blame him, though? The Cameroonian was robbed in broad daylight of a win he should have gotten easily. Oh, he came through in the ring, but too bad. The judges weren't on his side. Nor was the referee who missed an obvious illegal elbow from Fury's side. Yeah, that one should have gotten him a penalty and would have given Francis an easy win. But if you ask the boxing world, he had that victory with or without the illegal elbow. Taking the undefeated champion Tyson Fury down in his debut match would have done wonders for the fighter. Come on, it's one hell of a start to a boxing career, right? But I guess there's no taking Tyson Fury down in his own game, especially when the judges and the whole damn boxing commission are on his side. But you know Francis, and the Cameroonian isn't one to back off. He didn't let the loss slip by this easily, and told fans that they'd get to see him take down Tyson for real soon in a highly anticipated rematch. Now yes, Tyson's got the judges on his side, and we don't know whether it's because they're biased to the Fury name or the fighter is paying them. He's been accused of the latter several times in the past, so I wouldn't be too sure. But hear me out. If Francis successfully knocks down Fury in the ring, then the judges will be forced to give him the ring. And he has sent the Gypsy King crashing onto the canvas before, so he can surely do it again. And no one's gonna deny him a win by knockout. Francis planned on doing exactly that in the coming couple of months, and that's what he told the boxing world. The Cameroonian revealed that he was gonna go back into training and have Mike Tyson prepare him for the epic rematch to get the win he deserved. A lot of fans advised him to appeal his loss to the judges, but we all know that would have done barely anything since it was the boxing commission who robbed him of the win. Here's what they believe. You can't just let a newbie boxer come out on top against a world champion in his debut fight. I mean, surely it's possible, but it's bad for the sport of boxing, especially pro boxing. This wasn't an influencer fight, but it was a pro boxing bout, and yes, there were no titles on the line. But Fury's undefeated title was there for Francis to snatch, and he did exactly that. Well, not on paper, but if you go around asking anyone in the boxing world who won the fight, they'd all say Francis. Still, the win wasn't official, and an official one would have added a lot to his resume, so Francis began campaigning for a rematch while hyping the hell out of it on social media. 
It had been a while since the fight world had seen a close fight between crossover fighters, so fans came rushing in support of the rematch. Let's be honest, Tyson Fury vs. Francis was nothing but a treat to the eye of boxing fans. There was drama, suspense, and all the other aspects of a great fight. Both boxers gave their all attacking the other and defending themselves, and fans were on their tippy toes throughout the entire fight. Who wouldn't want to see a second round to the epic clash? Well, don't hold your breath on it, because Tyson Fury isn't in on it at all. While the Gypsy King has expressed interest in a potential rematch after the epic fight, he didn't mean for it to see the light of the day anytime soon. Yeah, he doesn't see a rematch down the road in a couple of years, let alone a couple of months. That's some bad news for Francis. But you can't really blame Fury for it, can you? The heavyweight boxing champion has gotten himself a pretty packed schedule, with an upcoming epic bout with the man himself, Oleksandr Usyk. The boxing world has been begging for this one for a long time now, and here's the good news. Fury just confirmed the dates. And no, no fake dates unlike what Francis was going on about. The highly anticipated Oleksandr Usyk vs. Tyson Fury fight was originally scheduled for December 2023, before the year ended. But due to some unknown reasons, it got pushed back. The word on the street said that Tyson needed more time than anticipated to recover from his fight. He was really out there underestimating the Cameroonian, no? The punches Francis landed on Tyson Fury were a bit stronger than the Gypsy King expected. And leading up to the fight, Usyk kept on doubting that the fight would take place at all. Now, you can't call him out for it because given the previous negotiations, it is only natural that Usyk doesn't trust Frank Warren or Fury himself. But here's the good news. We finally got an official date. It has been pushed back a couple of months. The fact that this fight is also taking place in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, may be the reason the event was pushed as well. But Fury's black eye might have been a bigger reason. The official date for the fight is February 17th, the undercard fights for the event haven't been announced yet, but word on the street says there's a big undercard event. And if we didn't know better, we'd believe it's Mike Tyson versus John Fury. Yep, you heard that right. Hear me out. Mike Tyson revealed that he would come out of retirement for one more clash in the ring, and who better to fight than John Fury who's been sending him brutal threats since the start of the year. This matchup has been making a lot of rounds in the boxing world, and fans really want to see it. We all know that Mike will smoke John in the ring and the bout will last no longer than two rounds, but hey, we're all in for watching Mike in the ring, especially because his physique has been looking better than ever. But here's the catch. Mike put forward the brutal condition that he would only fight John if Tyson would agree to a rematch with Francis. Well, too bad that Tyson isn't interested at all in the rematch, and the one who gets to suffer is his dad, John. The boxing world still has a lot to look forward to. Oleksandr vs. Tyson is going to be a close one, and even though the Gypsy King has other plans doesn't mean that Francis is out of opponents. He's in the talk for a potential fight with Deontay Wilder, and not just any fight but an epic duology where the fighters step into the ring and the octagon. Well, I guess we'll have to wait and see how it plays out. So there you have it, Fight World. That's all I have for you today. Make sure to like this video, comment, and share. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, and I'll see you next time. Until then, peace out.